Okay, so I'm going to be demoing the Git plugin inside Eclipse. All right. So the first thing we want to do is open up Eclipse, uh, click on Window, which is a little bit out of the view here, but let's go to Show View, Other, all right? And then I have it expanded here, but if you type Git at the top, you'll be able to click Git Repositories. Okay, so we want to clone an existing repository. Let's say we want to clone something from GitHub, all right? So we can open up uh, the web page, right, on GitHub that, that shows the repository. We just grab this URL right at the top. So this is uh, this is enough to identify this repository on GitHub. Okay. All right. So let's go back to Eclipse. All right. So we can say clone a Git repository. All right. So I'm going to paste this URL here. Uh, it's going to parse out everything. Right. So it parse out the host and the repository path, uh, and then the protocol, which is HTTPS, uh, as opposed to Git or any of those other ones. Okay. All right. So it's going to be doing uh, Git over HTTPS. Right. Uh, and then it's pre-populated my account information on GitHub, or word it with the, the, Git, the Git repository that we're um, pulling from. So you don't need to populate this unless you plan to push to that Git repository, or it's a private Git repository. Okay, so we can click Next here. All right, uh, there's one master branch that we're going to clone. All right, so let's add so. Right here, it's it's uh, referencing a folder that I already have that's already been created. Uh, so let's do dash two, dash three, okay. So uh, it's going to clone this repository into this folder, and then we're going to be able to view it in our repository's view, okay. So if we do finish, it will clone it into that folder, and then we'll be able to see uh, in here the item listed. Okay, great. So we can expand this. Uh, we can look at branches. Uh, and look that there's a master branch with, with the comment and everything uh, of what, what, what had just happened, right? Uh, we can then uh, go into the working directory, which is actually the um, root of the repository, right? And we can see the files in there, including uh, this project, right? Uh, this, this, folder, this project here actually has a .project file and a class path, so it's, it is an Eclipse project, right? So let's import that into our Paget, package explorer, which is currently empty. Okay, so we can uh, right-click on Project One and go to Import Projects. All right, we want to import all the all the projects existing under Project One. All right, and it did a search and it found because of that dot project file, uh, yeah, that there uh, there is a project in Project One. And click Finish. It's going to create a Java project because it was a Java project uh, in our Package Explorer. Okay, great. Uh, and you can see these uh, tiny gold cylinders, which say that those files are checked in and up to date, unmodified. Okay? So let's create a new file. Okay? Let's go to new file. All right, let's call it test file. All right? Now it has a question mark next to it because, because this is a git linked project, uh, and all the other files are committed in the repository, it doesn't, it's never heard of test file before, and it's not part of uh, the repository as it is now. So we have to make a decision whether we want to add it to the repository or ignore it. Okay, so let's add it first. All right. All right, so we type hello in this test file and save it. Okay, now um, if I right click here, uh, we go all the way down here to this team menu, right, which we can't see. We can alternatively click inside the file, right, and we see the same menu that we would have seen if I had right clicked on test file, okay? All right, and then we see the team, and we can say commit, right, for this file. All right, now, uh, right now, there, it's going to list all the files which have been modified or added, okay? So we can click that we are, um, we want to commit this file, this test file, all right? And we can say test as our commit message, uh, and then we can commit and push. Right? If we just commit, it's only going to commit locally. Right? If we commit and push, it's going to commit locally and then push our changes to GitHub. Right? So if we commit and push, we can see a status of what was pushed. We pushed from our master branch to the remote master branch. Uh, this is the identifier and our um, description of the 
commit that was made. Okay, so now we see that that is committed. It's got the little silver drum. If we go back to the website and hit refresh here, and I should go into project one, uh, we can see the test file was just committed 28 seconds ago. Great. Okay, so now let's go and modify this file, right? World. So we modify it, hit save. Now we see this little edited greater than sign. Okay, right? So we can now commit and push these changes as well. So we right click here, still can't see it. All right, and go here, go to team, commit, All right, and say test two, All right? Because this file is now already tracked uh, under version control, we can check it off. Uh, it's checked off by default uh, because it, it is assuming that because it was under revision control before, we're going to want to check that one in because we modified it, okay? So we can commit and push that one again. Okay, we got a summary of that. We just hit okay. All right, so now um, there's some history with this file, right? So we can, we can take a look at that history using uh, each git commit as a point that we'd be interested in looking at. So we can right click on this, go to compare with, right? Uh, a previous revision, right? Uh, okay. All right. So we can actually see that the previous revision uh, had hello in it, right? And the new version uh, has hello world. So that's pretty great. Uh, what if we just want to look at all the history? If we go to team, right? We can look. We can say show local history. Actually, you still can't see it down here. There's a there's a line that says show in history, right? So this is going to show um, the history of this file. And there have only been two commits, and you can see the, the time distance between them. Uh, and then clicking on these uh, will actually show you the commit message with a diff of the file, all right? So you can go through and get a lot of information about who committed things, when they were committed, and what was changed each time, okay? Uh, and then if we double click on these files, we actually can, can actually take a look at the file um, at, as, it, as it was viewed at that time to get more perspective on it. Okay? All right, and now uh, let's say that we, we, we don't want this file to exist anymore, right? We, we, uh, we want to get rid of it, okay? You can right click on it and choose delete. Are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes. All right. So now there's a modification at this level. You can see a little star there, right? So we haven't committed that change yet, and we can't right click on the file and commit it directly. So we have to actually uh, choose its parent folder and commit it there. All right, so now we can choose team and commit. And now if we right click on that, at that point, it'll show us that there has been a deleted file, test file, okay? Test three, and we can commit and push that, okay? All right, so what if we make a file and we don't want to see it? All right, so let's do test three, test file three. Okay, so this is has a question mark there. Let's say we want to have it on a project, but only locally. Right? We don't want to we don't want to ever commit it. Okay, even by accident. So we can right click on it. Uh, actually, do it here. Team, and then. There's an ignore option, which is slightly out of view. So if you hit that ignore option, uh, you'll actually see that it's not going to ask us to commit that file anymore. Uh, but what the edit that was just made is in the, inside a git ignore file in the project, it was modified. So if we right click on the project and go to team and then commit, we'll see that our dot git ignore was modified. So if we double click this entry, we can actually look at the difference it was in. So we, we were already ignoring bin, and now we're going to ignore test file 3. Okay? So I'm not actually going to go ahead and commit this. I'll just click cancel. All right? And that concludes the demo of Git integration. Thanks.